Coming up, we discover a new Peugeot that hasn't been beaten with the ugly stick, preview the world's greatest driving game, Gran Turismo 5, and explain why it's been a bad week for celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. There was shocking news earlier in the week when Peugeot unveiled a decent looking car. The 5008 MPV is a seven-seater rival to the Renault Grand Scenic and even boasts a head-up display system. It could be one of the stars of the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. So why does Peugeot's model look so miserable? Come on lad, cheer up. That's the design director of Jaguar, Ian Callum, talking about the all-new Jaguar XJ, which is officially unveiled on the 9th of July. After converting the old pipe and slippers S-Type into the truly modern Jaguar XF, we can't wait to see what this man has in store for Jaguar's ultimate luxury limo. Put your lies on hold, tell the missus you need some me time, because Gran Turismo 5 is almost here. And if this trailer's anything to go by, the latest game promises to be the greatest yet. GT5 is the first in the series to feature car damage. Plus there's new WRC Rally and NASCAR modes, as well as all of your favourite cars and trucks from the last 12 years. There's no official release date yet, but the rumour is that it's going to be in shops for Christmas. So you've got six months to warm up your thumbs. Normally, we don't go in for product endorsement, but if you want to advertise shoes, Ken Block shows you how. This week, Alistair entered his first race in the Sky Motoring Honda S2000. We stopped for fuel and a driver change after 45 minutes, but then it was up to me. And our resident gadget geeks were delighted when a new BMW 730LD turned up at the office. There's night vision, there's side cameras, there's massaging seats, there's TV screens, it's just endless. It was a good week for Vauxhall and Opel, as Canadian car parts manufacturer Magna, along with Russian-owned Sparbank, took a majority stake in General Motors' European arm. Although no promises have been made about UK jobs, with new models such as the new Astra just around the corner, the company's fortunes seem to have taken a turn for the better. It was a bad week for celeb chef Gordon Ramsay, who's been forced to sell his Ferrari 612 to help save his restaurants. What a, what a terrible shame. I'm, I'm jolly disappointed. Gordon didn't say. Following Vauxhall's split from General Motors, don't miss our gallery on the most famous cars ever to wear the Griffin badge. And don't forget to laugh your ass off at my first motocross lesson from reigning British MX1 champion, Billy McKenzie.